The first step to having any successful business is to first make sure that there is high demand for the product you're looking to sell. I dove into this a bunch in my video last week that was how to get your first 100 sales on Etsy fast. If you haven't seen that video yet, feel free to watch it. I'll put the link in the description below. I really dove deep into how to make sure there's demand with a product, how to make designs that'll sell, and then actually catapult your store into getting your first 100 sales quickly by doing the research in the first place before you actually make anything for your store. So I wanted to make today's video to actually show you that in action. Instead of just telling you how I would do it, I'm gonna actually show you a step-by-step -step example of me finding best sellers, showing you what types of designs are trending, and then actually making a few best-selling designs with those trends for you so you can see it all put together. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Cassie Johnson and I'm a full-time Etsy seller and now Etsy business coach. I started selling print-on-demand t-shirts in 2020, and in the last two years, I've been able to sell almost $600,000 worth of t-shirts on Etsy, and my goal with this channel is to show you how to do the exact same thing. So I'm making this video in the summer of 2022. So typically what I recommend spending your time on designing for would be about 50% of the time more evergreen niches, which are niches that can sell at any point throughout the year. Some good examples of these would be funny sarcastic shirts, mom shirts, teacher shirts, nurse shirts, and so on. That way you have a consistent income coming from shirts that can sell at any point and then I'd spend about the other 50% of your time on what you think is going to be selling eight to 12 weeks from now. So that can be what season we're going into, like fall, what holidays, like Halloween, or if there's any big appreciation days, like teacher appreciation day coming up. You wanna be always looking to the future and designing for those in advance. But like I said, I'm making this in summer of 2022. So we are coming up on the biggest quarter of the year, which is Halloween and Christmas are going to be the two biggest niches to focus in on at this time. And right now I'd probably actually recommend focusing about 75% of your time on the holidays and niches for right now to make sure you're prepared to have your most successful three months of income that you've ever had. So let's jump in and take a look at some best sellers and then I'll show you how I would actually incorporate some of these trends into making best selling designs with you. So just like I showed you in the video last week, I'd start with a really generic term first, like Halloween shirts. And this is just where you wanna start. You don't wanna only design for the holidays on these more generic keywords. This is just the beginning of the rabbit hole to then find smaller sub niches as well to make more specific designs. So to find only best sellers, you can come to this all filters button and you can actually click the best seller button right here and go ahead and click apply. If you don't see the best seller filter, then you can actually try going into incognito mode, which you would just right click the actual browser that you're in and say open a new incognito browser and sometimes that will get it to actually show up for you. So taking a look through the best-selling designs here, you can see that these collages of graphics sell well, some spooky text only designs can sell well. This kind of checkerboard design you'll start to see really popular this year as well. That has just been a big trend, along with this more retro font where you do every other letter a different color has been very popular as well. As you look through the results, you want to start paying attention to what kind of sub niches there might be that you want to sell in for Halloween. So a good example could be funny cow Halloween shirts. When you look through more, you might see some actual teacher themed Halloween shirts, dinosaur themed Halloween shirts kids themed Halloween shirts, you'll slowly see a lot of other sub niche potential that you can write down on a list or take a screenshot of and then go and research those by themselves. So that's what I was talking about with the beginning of the rabbit hole. You just wanna start with the general term of Halloween shirts, but then you want to eventually move into more specific niches as well. Here's another example of more of the retro fonts in a design. More retro fonts are selling well this year. More retro graphics are definitely doing well this year. 
country themed Halloween shirts could be an interesting one to look into. And I showed this last week as well. You can also make the searching faster by actually using something like the Everbee Chrome extension. So it's again an optional thing you can purchase for your business. But what I do is actually click this analytics button and it's going to analyze all of the listings that are on this page. And then I can actually sort them by which one has gotten the most total sales, the most estimated total monthly sales, which one are the newest and also a bestseller and that can be a really interesting way to look at them as well. You can also use the Everbee Chrome extension when you're on specific listings. So you'd click analytics and this is going to tell us how much monthly revenue they think this is making. So this one, for instance, is selling $882 in revenue per month right now, an estimated total monthly sales of 53. And this one has only been listed for one year. So you can get some really good information and you can also copy all their tags or their title to your clipboard to pick and choose if any of those keywords would make Make sense to use for your Halloween design. So let's go find some retro graphics and I'll show you how I put those together in a design to make best-selling designs for this Halloween. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that one of my favorite places to get graphics from is creativefabrica.com. This is a subscription service where you pay $19 per month and you get access to 4 million different graphics and fonts that you can use in your print-on-demand business. I would recommend watching my video about the licensing or going ahead and looking at the licenses for yourself so you can make sure that you understand how they work just for a quick rundown so you don't have to go do too much work. There's a few different types of licenses on Creative Fabrica. There's commercial licenses and then commercial and full POD usage allowed licenses. So with a commercial license only, you would have to actually add things or change things to this design to be able to use it at all. With the print on demand license, you would be able to use a design like this as is, but if you ever actually cancel that subscription, you'd have to take the design down. Whereas if you took a design like this, used it as an element and then made it your own by adding text and adding different graphics, adding different colors, then you can actually keep that up forever once you eventually cancel your subscription. You just can't continue to make more designs with those same graphics. And if you haven't tried Creative Fabrica yet, this is your sign to go ahead and give them a try. They do have a deal going right now where you pay only $1 for your first month's trial, and that is with the link down in my description. So feel free to pause the video, go sign up for the subscription, and then follow along. So I type in something like Retro Halloween, and I'll take a look through the results and find some cool graphics that I can use to make my own unique designs. I've chosen to not use any of the fully pre-made graphics on Creative Fabrica myself. I always wanna make my own unique version, but that's just my preference. So these are some of the cute graphics that are available on Creative Fabrica that I think would sell really well right now. But then I'll show you some that I found that I'm gonna use for today's example. I found this really cute retro ghost floral spooky sublimation. This one is commercial usage allowed. So again, I do need to add things to this to be able to use it. Another one that I found was this Let's Go Ghouls Floral Halloween PNG. This one again only has commercial usage allowed, so you do need to add graphics, add fonts, change different things to be able to use it in your store. So to start with for your designs, I like to use a website called canva.com. This is a pretty inexpensive design website. I believe it's about $12.99 per month, and you get a discount if you pay for it the whole year all at once. I like to start my designs at 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and that's the canvas size that I choose to actually design on. Now, if you're designing for a white t-shirt, I'd make the design white, or if you're designing for a black t-shirt, you can make the background black. Now, when you actually save this, you're gonna save it as a transparent PNG. So you see where it says transparent background PNG. So that's how you actually are going to save it. So the background won't be there. This is just to give you an idea of what color the shirt is going to be. Now, personally, I like to sell a lot of t-shirts that are lighter colored, like a natural color or a white or a light gray. So I'm gonna design on a lighter background today. 
So looking at some of those trends that we saw that were popular and selling right now, a few of the things I wanna focus on are the retro letters, retro colors, every other letter being a different color, and checkerboard. So I'm gonna put all of those together into a design to show you how I would actually combine all of that into my own unique design. So using Canva's elements, I'm gonna type in checkerboard, and then I'm gonna use this one right here. So this one is a pro element. You can use parts of Canva for free, but this one is one that you actually have to have a paid service for. So the only thing I don't like about this graphic is it kind of ends on an odd angle there. So if you don't mind that, you could just use it as is. But for me, what I think I'll do is I'm gonna use this duplicate button to make two of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it the other direction and I'm gonna just slide it over. So now I have a finished piece on this side. And what I always do is highlight both pieces and push group. So now I can move these together instead of an independent item. So I grabbed this cute little ghost that I got from Creative Fabrica, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put him over the checkerboard like we saw a couple of the other cute best-selling designs. And then I'm gonna add some text to this design. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the letter T and that's gonna bring up a text box. So if you wanted to do a really similar to the design to the one that you saw, it would say, creep it real. But what I'd recommend is actually using a different saying. And what's nice is once you get a design style that you like, you can actually just change out this saying and make a bunch of different designs with this exact same graphic set. So let's just use Creep It Real right now for an example, but I wanna change this to a more retro font. One of my favorites that I got from Creative Fabrica is this Peace and Love font. And what's fun is it comes with two different versions. It comes with this solid version and also an outline. So I'll show you how I use the two of those together. So we'll go ahead and make this just the right size. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make each of these letters a different color like we talked about. So since I'm designing for a lighter color, I think I'll keep the black. And then what's nice about Canva is they're actually gonna come up with the colors from this photo right here at the bottom. So all four of these colors are actually pulled from the graphic. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them in this order. So we'll do that color, we'll do the yellow, do this kind of rust, and then or, you know, maybe I'll repeat the same pattern that they have. I think I kind of like the black being kind of mixed in. So let's just keep going with this same pattern that we're doing. All right, perfect. So now I want to actually go ahead and curve this. So you'd click Effects, and there's this Curve button down here, and then there's a line down here where you can actually edit how much curved it is. So we're just going to kind of curve it over the top to really create that really nice feel. So let's look and see how that looks. So I like this lighter color because it matches the graphic, but I think that it's gonna get a little bit lost on some of the lighter color t-shirts. So this is when the other version of this text really comes in handy. So I'm gonna actually duplicate this text here, but I'm gonna change it from this font to the outline font. And then I'm gonna actually change it to be just a black color. So then now here, it gives our design a nice outline, and if you didn't know, you can actually use the arrows keys on your keyboard to move your design up and down to get it in just the right spot. And so there, now you can see that this is gonna look really nice on a lighter colored t-shirt. I think I still wanna add maybe a little bit more, so I'm gonna add some bats to this design. So let's add something like this to it, just to add a little bit more visual interest. Maybe I'll make him a little bit smaller, add him over here, and then you can always duplicate it. Maybe I'll add this down here. Now flip it to be the other direction. And just like that, I think this is a really good example of putting together the retro fonts, the retro colors, every other letter being a different colored, checkerboard and retro graphics like we saw that are already popular, but this is a completely different spin on it with all the flowers and everything. And you could change this up however you saw fit to be a unique design for you. But I just wanted to kind of show you exactly how I would put all those pieces together in my own design. 
So this video is getting a little long, so I think I'll skip ahead and just show you the end result of another design that I made using that same research that we just did. So I made this design here with the same font, but I chose more retro colors. I used the exact same piece of checkerboard, but I added one at the top and one at the bottom. So I just typed in retro for the graphics, and then I found these cute flowers. On um, these little diamonds and hearts were actually from the exact same collection. So if you're not sure how to do that, let's say you like this flower, you'd push these little buttons here and you can actually view the collection. That way you're only seeing graphics that have a similar vibe and similar colors that you can use within the same design. And then I added these cute little ghosts and made them the same color as two of the letters. So this is another fun example of how you can put that all together in a different way. But bonus points on this one, uh, this actual cursive word for spooky mama, you can change this out and actually have it say spooky mini and do mom and me matching shirts. You could change this and have it say spooky nurse. So this would be a really good example of a great scalable design where you can spend a few minutes making a great design and then you can actually just change one word and make it into 50 different Halloween designs in no time. And just a quick reminder, I didn't actually check Creep It Real for trademarks. So anytime you're selling a t-shirt, you need to be checking terms like Creep It Real for trademarks. And that's any term that's in your title, in your tags, or on your shirt. So make sure to do your own due diligence. Just because someone else is selling it doesn't mean that they did theirs and actually checked it. So keep your account safe and make sure to check every term you use for trademarks. I do have a full video I'll link down in the description if you're not familiar with that at all, where I do a step-by-step -step tutorial and show you exactly how to check trademarks. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to show you how you can go ahead and do a bunch of research, see what's selling, see what's trending, put it all together in your own unique design, and really make a lot of money this Q4.